catch Samoas and Sheikas, the brightest minds from across the country talking about what makes them tick. This is Rock the Talk on IndigoMusic.com. All right, welcome back to IndigoMusic.com. And uh, I have yet another very special interview lined up for everybody listening in right now. Very excited uh, to have Robin Uttapa on the other side. Of course, Indian cricketer has been a World Cup winner in 2007, the inaugural T20 World Cup. He has also been an IPL winner for Kolkata in the year 2014. And um, yeah, also an orange cap holder as well. 660 runs in the season and also 11 consecutive scores of above 40 in one season, which is uh, pretty phenomenal stuff. Uh, Robin mm. Otepa, really, really, um, uh, you know, uh, excited to have you right here on Indigo Thanks, Music. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. All right. And I think you have this uh, love affair with the number seven for some reason, because, you know, 2007, then 2014. And I think this was your year again, 2021 with uh, CSK. I think it could have, I mean, you guys were on track, weren't you? Well, the year's not over yet, Melvin. We, 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 have, we have more than half, <laughs> half of it to still go, man. So uh, right. yeah, a lot of wonderful things can happen as well. So, yeah, I actually love the number seven. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, it's something I picked up actually from the Bible. Uh, so for me, uh, I believe the number seven is, uh, is somehow related to, to God. And I think it's the number of God because it's on the seventh day that he decided to rest. Uh, right. So, right, right, right. Uh, yeah. According to the Bible. Uh, so for me, it's, it's always been an affiliation, the number seven. And I just love it. So even my jersey number for the most part has always been my date of birth into the number seven or something to do okay. with seven at all points. So. Um, all right. So yeah, so it's, it's just been a fascination that I've had for for like the longest time. Uh, that's that's amazing. So hopefully, I, I mean, I have no idea if the IPL is going to continue this year. I mean, we hear that it could. So uh, maybe it is another win for CSK. So uh, let's let let's hope. All right, Robin. And also, uh, you know, I I caught an interview that you did on ground uh, this year in the tournament that really. Uh, you know, stuck with me because I think it was very profound what you said. You said that you want to contribute to the team in any way possible. And uh, you said you, along with a couple of other CSK uh, players, decided to cook for the team. And I, I thought that was just beautiful, you know? Like, I mean, a lot of people, uh, when they're sitting out, they're not playing. Uh, maybe they're sulking, maybe they're brooding. But, I mean, you found a way to just contribute and uh, be positive. And I and I just thought that was uh, pretty phenomenal. So maybe would you like Thanks, to throw a bit, a bit more light on uh, that way uh, of thinking? Yeah. So for me, I've experienced um, loss of different kinds uh, in, at different times in my life. And uh, our difficult situations, I've uh, been through quite a few of them in my life. And things that are unpleasant, things that set you out of your comfort zone. Uh, one of the mm -hmm. first things I... I and I've gotten used to this because I've practiced it so much in my life. I think uh, what I do is uh, every time I find myself out of my comfort zone and find myself in a situation that puts that that is evident that I'm outside of my comfort zone and it's beyond my control, the first thing I do is like I look at the situation and say, okay, what can I do within my control to make this better? The first thing I can do to make this better is accept that the situation is this. This is the right. situation that's been... This is the hand that's been dealt to me right mm -hmm. uh, i'm like okay I, I accept that this is the hand that's dealt to me but i want to be true to who i am and i want to continue to grow and for me contributing and adding value is, is a massive part of who i am uh so right. for me if i can't contribute the way i want to contribute then i have to find another way to contribute to my to my team or in any given situation which helps me um feel good about myself because at the end of the day we all want to feel good about ourselves in anything right. that we do. I'm sure that you want to feel good about how you do your job on a day-to-day -day basis, right? There are standards right. that you set right. for yourself. And so you right. want to meet those standards. So in situations that push you out of your comfort zone, you want to find a standard that you want to live up to every day that is, that is mm -hmm. sustainable. Um, and, I'm, and, I, and I'm not saying it doesn't get hard. There are days that I've had even during the, you know, the IPL that happened while I was sitting out and I felt like, man, mm -hmm. this, is, this is hard. You know, and uh, emotionally hard, mentally hard, because I've, I've played for so many years. I'm sitting out after playing so many matches for, through the IPL, you know, and all the IPLs. And, and I feel like, hey, what do I do in this situation 
that makes me feel like I'm adding value to my team, that I'm contributing to this team's atmosphere. You know, I can help guys out in the dressing room, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to be there and going to be available to them, going to ask them, you know, can I do this? Can I do this for you? Can I do that for you? Change a grip for you? Um, you mm -hmm. know, what bats do you want when you go outside? There are a lot of players who follow certain routines or superstitions that they have. Like, okay, what are your routines right. so that I know that, you know, all of your stuff is taken care of here. You don't have to worry about it. So, right. you know, and then they feel it helps them perform well. It helps them feel like they're in the right state to perform, go out there right. and perform well. So, I'm like, I find these things that I can do to add value to each player and selectively it becomes the entire team, right? Uh, mm -hmm. So, I try my best to do that and then I use the help of my my teammates who are also not playing. So, I, I use their help and then, you know, you, you try your best to kind of contribute and then off the field you say, okay, um, you know, what can I do to, you know, in this difficult time where we can't get food from outside, you know, Everyday eating the same food from 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 the hotel can become mundane and boring. It's like having biryani every day of your life, all three meals, right? Or it's like having right. one meal. Some every people, day. So, I mean, no, some man, people won't complain if you. I'm I'm one of those guys. Like I love biryani. Like I love right, Nagarjuna right. biryani. That's my favorite meal, right? right? With powder right, right. some some gunpowder yeah. on the side. But for me, if you ask yeah. me to have that every day. For like, yeah. like sixty days, I'm be, I'm gonna be like, man, that's, true, uh, that's true, it's yeah, gonna get yeah. you at some point. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get saturated by eating that same food, right? So, yeah. uh, a few words. Suresh Raina is, is a great team man. Ambati Raidu is mm. an amazing team man. So, wow. uh, Amba and uh, Sureshi and I uh, said, okay, let's do something. Let's cook something for the guys. And they're all really good cooks, and I bake fairly well. So I said, okay, mm. I'll bake the desserts. You guys make the main courses. And that's what we okay. did. And, you know, we found different mm -hmm. ways to just kind of, you know, break up the mundane a little bit so that there's something right. to look forward to for everyone. Right. Um, and for me personally, I add value and I feel good about myself, you know. And that's, I, th I think that's so cool. And I think MS Dhoni may really love your company because another mature mind, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, in the man. team just like his. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, uh, yeah because MS Dhoni is, is all about, you know, uh, finding people in the team yeah. who understand the little things, right? Yeah, he's an incredible human being. He hasn't, yes. uh, the, the most in, in, insane thing about him is that he hasn't changed uh, right, from the right. time I've known him. He's been the same. And and to have that level of awareness about yourself as a human being is incredible. That's, that's, and he, he found his sweet spot and he found mm -hmm. what bring him, brings him success and success for people around him. And he stayed right. true to that. And he's very aware Absolutely. of it, you know. And that's Absolutely. amazing. Yeah. All right. Um, also, uh, Robin, I mean, uh, let's let's talk a uh, little bit cricket. The World Test Championship is is mm -hmm. happening soon. India versus New Zealand. Uh, what what are your thoughts on India's chances? Also, we now know the team that's going to New Zealand. Do you think they picked the best team, or uh, would you have maybe made a couple of changes? I think they picked a great side. Uh, unfortunately, I I, I think. Uh, Bhuvanesh, uh, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar missed out yeah. and I would have loved lot, to have yeah. him in those conditions um, you know so if anything I would have included him into the you know uh, into the squad uh, I do feel someone like Jaydev Unatkat who's, who's gotten you know performances after performances yeah. in, in red ball cricket uh, has been left out I feel mm -hmm. I feel for someone like him because uh, he's someone who's motivated to play at the highest level in red ball cricket um, mm -hmm. and uh, he's missed out despite having like out of the world performances for an Indian fast bowler. For an Indian fast bowler, Melbourne to take 67 to 70 wickets in a Ranji Trophy season in, in, in Indian conditions is unfathomable. Right, right. yeah. It's, it's right. uh, stuff of dreams to be honest. And, to have, mm -hmm. and, and after having performances like that to not get picked in the Indian test squad is, mm -hmm. is, is, uh, yeah. is worrisome that... for me. Does that say a lot about the talent India uh, have, or do you think it's just pure? For sure. uh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, like... man. I think, I think we can we can spot three Indian teams today, and be yeah, yeah. competitive in world cricket. You yes, know? And, I mean, and yeah. What's gonna happen, right? Because we're gonna see that, yeah. right? So the Asia Cup yeah. Cup's happening here in uh, in the subcontinent uh, at, at right. the same time that India and England or yes, the, uh, yeah. the championships going on. So around the right. same time, so we'll actually see that, and you'll see that the the, the teams yeah. are not are not, going to, not going to be too far apart. It's going to be Absolutely. this way and that, but it's it's going to be great. It's going to be a great side. 
uh, both sides are going to yeah. do really well for themselves. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. Things have things have really changed from the '90s uh, for sure. We've just got such an abundance of talent right now. Um, also, I have another segment right now, Robin. This is uh, called Bouncers and Beamers. So you may have to mm-hmm. dodge a few a few ones sure. right now. <laughs> okay. All right. So <laughs> your your first question is uh, CSK or RCB. Where did you have a better time? CSK. CSK. All right. All right. Your next question. Bounces and beamers continue. Virat Kohli or MS Dhoni, the better captain? I know I'm putting MS you in, in the spot. Oh, okay. MS wow. Dhoni. <laughs> All right. Cool. MS Dhoni. Uh, the next question. Rohit Sharma or Virat Kohli, the better batsman? Oh, man. I can't choose that. <laughs> yeah, that that's go. a tough one. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave that. All right. You let that go. Okay. Um, Robin Uttapa, the batsman, or Robin Uttapa, the husband? I said, I said very tough. Very high standard for both of them. So <laughs> I can't pick between the two. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, better to dodge the bullet, right? Okay. Uh, the next question a drink with the boys or a romantic getaway with the wife? Again, putting you in a spot. Uh, a drink with the boys, yeah, with my wife. Yeah. With your wife, okay. That's 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 a great balance, like I mentioned earlier. Again, okay. So <laughs> India, India or New Zealand? Who do you think is going to be crowned the world Test champion? Well, easy one. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say easy. I I definitely okay. wouldn't say easy, bro. It's actually it's, it, to give you a very honest answer. If if India was playing in India, I'd say India, right? If you were playing yeah, in India, yeah. I'd say India, but. The fact that we're playing in a neutral venue, we're playing in the English summer, uh, where the New Zealand guys have thrived, uh, and uh, the fact that we're going in one swing bowler shot for me, right, um, right, leaves it fifty-fifty. To be honest, yeah, fifty-fifty. Um, okay, I'd like to see where 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 the dust settles, honestly, on this one. All right, let's. Uh, so I'm let's, not picking a side. Uh, yeah. But I mean, I mean, it's good to be hopeful. But uh, we'll yeah. we'll see what I happens. I am hopeful. I, I do want India to win for sure. I definitely yeah. want India to win. But yeah. uh, okay. I have to be very honest from from a cricketing point of view. Right? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. All right. Your the next segment is actually called uh, silly point questions. Okay, so mm. yeah, yeah, we can take this a little lightly. Uh, outgoing or shy? I'd have to say a combination of both. I'm shy till I get to know someone. Uh, but once I get okay. to know them, I'm I'm very outgoing. A riot. Okay. The next question. Organized or disorganized? Organized. Properly organized. Okay. Properly organized. Um, serious or fun-loving? Fun-loving. Okay. Optimistic or pessimistic? Optimistic. Ever the optimist. All right. Cool. And uh, cats or dogs? Dogs. Uh, but of late, I've begun to like cats as well. I have to admit. I love dogs though. Yeah, I think that's everyone's answer. The same answer for me. I used to love dogs my entire life and suddenly I have this fondness for cats. I think as you mature, yeah, just, you realize that cats... Uh, yeah, I think really... once your personality kind of settles yeah. down, you yeah, kind of realize and accept that, you know, they're also allowed to have personalities. In it. Okay, um, the, the last question. Netflix binging or calorie binging? What would you prefer on a weekend? Can't we do both? <laughs> Yeah, I think, yes. Again, all about balance is uh, Robin Uttapa. Robin, uh, this, I mean, I had such a great time putting this together for you. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And, I did, uh, thank just, you. And uh, yeah, I think you've just been such a phenomenal cricketer over the years. And now we also found out that you're also such a wonderful human being as well. Uh, thank you so much <laughs> for your time. Thanks, Melvin. It's been, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah.